famous Nick Manners. We are here for the seventh contest of the evening now. It's 2-0 Ashley Maroon against 100 and God knows now Jordan Granham. He was a stalwart on the scene. Jordan's solid. Um, he tests so many people and he's a real, real tough proposition for any of these upcoming, upcoming stars. Um, I think um, he tested one of our Leeds lads, well, his Wakefield Yorkshire lad, um, Guy Kitchen. And um, Guy has grown so much from that, from that fight. Jordan's the sort of kid who's going to turn around and um, he's going to teach you a lesson and let, make you learn your lesson. Sharp, fast, accurate, game, experienced. Two writers, um, and it's all credit to the likes of Ash and the likes of Guy Kitchen for stepping in with Jordan in their date on their debuts and their third respective pro fights. Jordan, Jordan's been around the middle a lot and he's out, 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 out of his uh, hundreds of contests he's only ever been stopped twice he's done some rounds then he's done the rounds he's got the experience of doing the rounds and he's been in, in with all sorts of styles so he won't be faced <laughs> Ashley Maron looks quite composed he looks, seems to be picking his shots coming out, in and out of range not getting too involved at this moment in time obviously knows that this kid's a dangerous kid. There you go, he's throwing the shots. Nice three, three punch combination. Yeah, Ash is a nice tidy boxer um, and he's been really active recently. Fought a couple of weeks ago here on the 24th. Three fights within these first six months. It's not a bad start to his pro career. Not at all, not at all. Um, it's nice to see him fighting regularly so they can keep the momentum. Just in case you didn't know, I'd best let you know. My name is Nicholas Manners, former Central Area light heavyweight champion, KO King, um, part of the Manners Boxing Clan. Um, very honoured to be here with um, VIP promotions. I think it's fantastic. Nick Manners, that's my name. Boxing's my game. Dan, it's a pleasure to be here with you, watching these um, up-and-coming fighters progress. It is, it's even more of a pleasure to be uh, filmed and directed by the, the the main man, Mr. Hogan. I love Lee, he's a very, very dedicated um, character within the sports industry, the boxing sports industry. He's been here for a long, 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 long time. Second only to, well, third probably, second and third only to Steve Holdworth, the late Eric guy, God bless him, and then we've got Lee Hogan. Be happy. Start of round two now. Ash is looking to start on the front foot, move Jordan around the ring a little bit more. That long lead left hand. And then he comes in with a right cross. That's beautiful. That. That's nice. He's just controlling, just controlling the range. 
You can see with that front foot domination, he's trying to put him off with that, that stamp. Let's give a little credit for the um, organisation of the whole promotion here tonight. VIP Steve Woods, of course, Lee Vincent Hogan taking care of the camera work. And the pretty round girls are Kimmy and Natty from KM Promotions. Big shout out to Louise as well upstairs that's um, taking care of interviews, doing all our backstage stuff tonight. As you know, my name is Nicholas Manners, former Central Area Champion. Um, just in case you didn't know, at some point in time, I'm sure there'll be a face behind the, um, in front of the camera. I'm a very, very handsome, articulate, ebullient young man. A lot of these punches have been taken on the um, arms and gloves by Jordan. So says Nicholas Manners, former Central Area Light Heavyweight Champion. Very good shot, very good shot, quick shot, quick hands, left and right, straight away. Nice little, very, very fast and sharp, accurate pinpoint jab. Very, very sharp. That's from Marin. Very focused. point he made he's following him around the ring he's cutting off cutting it off nicely with his feet making him have to move coming out of distance as and when he needs to yeah Jordan's um, Jordan's been on a lot of cards recently so I think I think he'll be happy with this type of fight tonight sure is due on, on on the VIP show next week at Wakefield Oh, he's been a very good servant, very good servant to boxing. So he'll be, be glad not to be dragged into a war tonight with the likes of a guy recently. Mm. Mm. But regardless, Jordan always does come to earn his money. You can see his fit, you can see he's strong, you see, see he's um, experienced as well. He's not rushing it, he's, yeah. not, he's not advancing, he's saying, if you want me, come and get me. But be careful when you come in. Yeah, he's uh, Steve Wood's favourite journeyman, roadman, as we like yeah, to call roadman. Them. Don't like that term, do we, Nick? No, I don't like that. What, journeyman? Yeah, I don't like journeyman. Let's see if um, Ash decides to step up the pace and try and put it on Jordan. I think he's just going to be able to control the distance and uh, box nice and clean, get his quick one twos off, move in and out. I mean, I, I, Ash, Ash only boxed two weeks ago himself, and um, he's a prospect, isn't he? He's not a road man, as we've just discussed. He looks okay, he does look, he, do, he looks competent, he looks confident, he looks assured. It's nice to see. As we speak, his crowd get behind him. Yeah, it's, it, it, his foot, footwork's his best attribute for me. It's, it's wonderful to watch. Well, you know yourself, you're an experienced fighter yourself. Um, and you know what? Appreciation of the fine things. Look at that, in, out, in, out, out. There you go, beautiful, lovely. That's beautiful. beautiful. He's got that Ukraine look about him. Yeah, that true Eastern European grit. Yeah, the eyes, them eyes. Talking to the Eastern European, what do you think to um, Daniel Dubois' chances of um, dethroning oh. Alexander Usyk? Oh, well, in my opinion, Usyk is... If, if we had pound-for-pound pound list, Nick, then he'd be at the top. If there was a legitimate pound-for-pound pound list, he'd be at the top. Just because it's the two heavy-hitting divisions in the world that is taken over. Um, and Dubois, let's face it, he was sat down by a cruiserweight last time. So if he fees to stop him, it, I think it's a bigger shock than. Um, I think the only advantage. Con Connie and Honeyman. Sorry, Honeyman. Honeyman. No, I think the only advantage that um, Daniel Dubois has done, in my opinion, 
that's going to give him any kind of a chance is to go with Don Charles. That's it. And hope that Don Charles can instill something in him. Um, just something, because it's one night only for me. It's done or dusted. I don't expect Daniel Dubois to go anywhere after this fight if he gets blitzed. Why would he? He's got his money. He might as well come out. No, and I know we talk a, a lot about shocks and stuff like this with, throughout the weight divisions, but when it comes to the heavyweight division, we all know that one punch can change everything. I'll tell you what, Dan, I know that um, the boxing's been going okay. Um, Ash is still keeping him at range and that and doing more or less what he wants, getting them rounds, just switched out for, which is nice to see, which tells you that you've got something else in his box. Um, but like I say, the heavyweights, the heavyweights in reality have been a bit disappointing over the last um, couple of years and that. It's been opportunities for them to really, really test themselves and make themselves um, household names and favourites and they've decided to take the money, which is a bit disappointing. I still put um, Tyson Fury as number one. Yeah, it, it's, it's very disappointing, especially when we're seeing the likes of Crawford and Spence being made this year. Okay then, Nick Manners, former Central Area Light Heavyweight Champion, um, KO King from Leeds. I'm retired now, I'm not a violent man, but I like the training. Um, I'm here on the VIP Vince Hogan promotion, watching the talented, the very talented Ashley Marin go through the gears, go through his paces. Jordan's still game and Jordan's still talking to him and letting him know that, look, I'm here. And if you make a mistake, I'm going to make you pay. It's been a very pleasant evening of boxing, you know, to be fair. It has, it's been all action. Mm. Everybody's had a go, everybody's come up through. Some very evenly matched, um, even though on paper it might, they might not look evenly matched because of the amounts the journeyman or experienced fighter might have, to, might have had already. But they've all come to fight, they've all put a stiff resistance and they've all tested everybody who's been in front of them. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's credit to Mr Lillis, that. Yeah, that Steve's the matchmaking. Yeah, that brilliant matchmaking. That. Especially with uh, Michael Romarate in the fight previously, uh, what a fight that was. We called him Phil. Yeah. <laughs> very exciting fighter, very exciting fighter. He's like a short fuse, isn't he? Yeah. It's it's like a, it took a lot of hard work to get his UK debut, but now's the start. Well, I hope that he can, um, we, we, considering his age and that, he's going to have to get a move on, you know what I mean? But um, like you say, for as long as he's doing it, it's going to be exciting to watch. He's got a real, real aggressive style. I like this Ash, you know. Another one, he's got a good look in his eye. Him and Patterson, I really like them tonight. And apparently there's another good one coming as well, in Reese Woods. Yeah, top of the bill to come soon, Reese Woods, 5-2-0. and oh, Against Owen Kirk, 3-1-1. One one. Both entered the VIP tournament last year. A couple of pull-outs in between, but we're here now. They're finally meeting. Is it anticipated to be a good fight? Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, I can't wait. It's been a long time in the making. Yeah, I, I just want to reiterate on Ashley Madden's footwork again. It's absolutely stunning to watch. He's, he's enjoying himself. He's enjoying himself. It's nice to see kids expressing themselves and it's able to show the fans one or two little bits and bobs and that. And like you say, impress the men like, like ourselves who are very critical when we have to be. But it's nice to see good boxing. Of course it is, and considering it was only out two weeks ago, everybody could say, "Oh, he's taken a he's taken a glorified spot."
boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe, VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.